My name is Daryl Falzerano and I'm a research scientist here at VITO, the Vaccine and Infectious Disease Organization at the University of Saskatchewan. Here at VITO we work um, both on basic and translational projects uh, that are focused on infectious disease with the ultimate goal of developing vaccines that prevent those diseases both for animals and for humans as well. So at VITO I'm a research scientist, that means I I run an independent research lab. My lab happens to work on coronaviruses. Prior to SARS-CoV-2, we worked on MERS coronavirus, a different um, but related beta coronavirus. Uh, for that, we were trying to develop animal models where we could develop a vaccine for camels to prevent transmission of MERS from camels to humans. And then when SARS-CoV-2 hit, our lab transitioned rapidly to isolate the virus from the first um, first known case in Canada, and from there develop vaccines and animal models, uh, and one vaccine that has actually made it into clinical trials. When you're a research scientist, there's really no such thing as a typical work day. So your day may be involved in, in, um, in working in the lab and training others, especially in our containment level three lab. So we do a lot of training and a lot of that I'm in, involved in uh, as we grow into a bigger organization. Um, and we've been highly involved in that since, since SARS-CoV-2 started. Some lab work is still involved as a research scientist, although that's become uh, less and less over the years. It becomes more of a management role and facilitating the work of, of others. So that involves spending actually a lot of time in your office, on your computer, um, writing grants, analyzing data, putting that together, collaborating with other investigators across the country and around the world, attending conferences, presenting your data there. Um, and, and really there's, there's um, such a number and a diverse number of activities uh, that you do. That's why there's no sort of set day. Monday is not a day to do this. It could, uh, you know, you could, be, um, you could be in the lab, you could be at your computer all day, you could be in meetings all day. Um, there's really a diversity of activities that we have to do on a day-to-day -day basis. An interest in infectious disease uh, for myself, that started in undergrad, um, taking courses in microbiology and molecular cell biology. And those were always the most interesting and kind of therefore the easiest courses, not because they are intrinsically easy, but what you're interested in uh, is a lot easier to work hard on than, than things you may not be. Um, and then that sort of led to uh, a first summer job working in a lab uh, where I thought that was a lot of fun and that led to, you know, a second and a third summer job and then starting a graduate school as, as, a, as a young master's student pursuing, a, at that time, a vaccine research project. Um, I really liked, liked doing that, thought it was interesting and fascinating. Uh, ended up becoming a PhD student, doing that on emerging infectious viruses, um, initially uh, on Ebola, glycoprotein processing. And that sort of introduced me to the high pathogenic virus world. Uh, so there I ended up being trained in level four, worked in level four for a number of years. Ended up being a postdoc in the United States, continuing uh, to work on emerging infectious diseases. Um, I've responded to global health emergencies. So I've done diagnostics in Africa um, during the Ebola outbreak in 2014. Um, was part of a team that developed the first animal models and vaccines uh, and potential therapeutics for MERS coronavirus and then came here to Vito uh, to start my own lab as a research scientist uh, working in the areas that I had expertise in which was you know emerging coronaviruses and animal models and vaccines uh, and that was sort of a natural transition into working on SARS-CoV-2 and brings us sort of to today. So my position that I have here today took uh, quite a number of years of schooling so I did an undergraduate degree in biology and then went on to do a master's degree in medical microbiology uh, in the area of, of, of vaccine development and evaluation in animal models. Uh, did a PhD um, in molecular virology in the Department of Medical Microbiology. Um, and, and so all of that is, is encompassing, you know, four years of one, two and a half years of the next, five and a half years of, of a PhD program. Then going on to be a postdoc um, for four and a half years before starting what you know your parents would call your first real job, um, you know when you're in your 30s uh, as as a research scientist uh, here at Vito, and that would sort of be a typical. You could do that in a little. You could compress that down a little bit, but uh, that's sort of the the sort of the uh, the span of training that you would expect if you want to become uh, a scientist in, in in you know the biology field. So if you're interested in working in a lab, volunteer to do that or find a 
find a job that, that may allow you to do a little bit of that and see if that really is um, what it is you like. Uh, take the courses that are related to that, see how, how that fits with your, your interests. And, and um, you know, if you really want to do research as a, as a career, it has to be something that you love to do, I think. Um, you, you can't just do it because it's a, another job. Um, there's enough challenges in there from you know, um, having an idea and pursuing whether or not that works, and usually it doesn't, and having to repeat things and redo things and, and change, your, change your focus that, that, um, that you really need to enjoy what you're doing to, to continue in, in that area. Of course, there's many exit points uh, and, and other opportunities just because you do your training in a, in a sort of a basic research setting doesn't mean you can go on to do that. There's all kinds of jobs uh, in pharmaceutical industry, biotech industry, uh, apart from sort of basic research in, 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 um, in university type labs. So if you want to be a good fit to work in a research lab, I think there's a number of, of skills that one needs or personality traits. Attention to detail is, is super important. I think if you have a struggle doing that, you're going to have a struggle at the technical level. Um, and, and things beyond that are complicated enough that you can't, um, you know, that's something you can learn as well, but, but definitely something that you need to be interested in is being precise with how you do things. Um, but also still sort of the flip side of that is, is being creative and thinking of, of new ways to do things, um, new pathways to explore. Um, so there is creativity involved as well. And you need those, I think those two areas to come together and that's sort of what makes a good, uh, a good scientist. For people who may be interested in pursuing science career, I think it, uh, it, it's one of those careers where you don't know where you're going to end up necessarily um, and, and things are always changing. So technologies are changing, um, what's happening in the world, of course, it, 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 I mean just completely illustrated by the, the pandemic, um, how everyone approaches infectious diseases is changing and so you're always in a, in, in a space that needs to be adaptable. If you're looking for, for opportunities where you're not always doing the same thing and you, you're always looking for something new, I think that's an interesting, uh, you know, pursuing fields in science are, are, are interesting. You get to meet remarkable people, you know, from around the world. Um, there's, there's sort of all kinds of opportunities to visit unique, unique locations, have unique experiences, such a diversity of things that you need to be adaptable. So um, you're certainly never, you're not looking at having a boring job if, if you're going to the field of science. It's, um, you're always going to be presented with new challenges. So if that's something that's interesting to you, uh, I think that's a, that's a reasonable career path to pursue or to investigate further.